Hello everyone, my name is Lale and I'm gonna teach you painting step by step. Let's get it started. Lesson one, graphite pencils and basic shapes. Before you start painting, you need to learn how to draw and how to have a better control of a pencil. That helps you in future to have a better control of your paint and your paintbrush. Stay tuned. Graphite paints were made in two series, well H series and B series. B means black, H means hard. B series are, they're harder, uh, the, I'm sorry, they're softer and they're darker and they make from B to 9XB. Sometimes they make them in uh, three letter of B, they're really, really, really nice pencil but it's hard to find them. And H ones made from H to 9H and when you go higher in edge, the number go higher, actually the pencil is uh, lighter and harder. And well, but in B, when you go higher, and the pencil is softer and darker. Now to learn um, and know how to use them and better con have a better control, you first need to know what kind of effect each pencil has. I'm gonna show you some of the pencils I have. The first one is HB and HB right in the middle. They're perfect for writing and those pencils you always buy, you know, for school or stuff like that and you can find them everywhere, you know. And right there we have F. F more, more likely is H series because it's a little bit, just a little bit lighter than HB. And you see here that it's not much different, but it's a little bit different. Now, um, the only H I have here is number two, which I only use it for putting my uh, final project on my canvas or on a paper and you can have one handy like I have and you hardly use them and I have it probably for two years now and it's never gonna go down now in um, oh I'm gonna try another HB I have is another brand which oh you see is actually um, looks like F and it's that cheaper brand actually you see here is darker that HP I tried first now we go to B uh, in B series I have 2 4 and 8 and when you go higher numbers I said the pencil is darker and softer and you understand that when you use these pencils and try them and you have a better understanding Okay, see that 2B is so much softer than HB, but 4B is so much so softer than 2B and 8. 8 is my favorite pencil and I use it for drawing. This one is so, you don't need any effort to get the result. It's so dark and deep. I love it. Now, for your homework, you need some homework to understand these, you know, matter. Now you need to grab your graphite pencils and paper and try to go from darkest that pencil can give you to the lightest just with emotion of your hands. Don't try to cheat. Don't grab those paper pencils and try to fade it away or napkin or whatever. Just try to learn it with your hand because you want to give your hand a good exercise. Now you go anywhere, any direction, try to go straight lines and try to do it without using and helping, you know, just you and your hand. And this one actually is a, a really good skill you're going to get. Um, nobody going to give it to you. You just have to earn it. Now another uh, exercise I'm gonna and homework I'm gonna give you and um, which is l look at a lot of black and white pictures or look at the black and white picture and the same picture in color it, that way you see and understand the contrast so much better you see how colors change 
in black and white and that way you gonna learn better when you're trying to work with uh, you know paint now our second object uh, is basic shapes basic shapes are square triangle and circle and the other shapes which are secondary shapes made from and combination of these shapes which like rectangle like stars like um like ellipse you know just and just um, look at the everything and everything has a shape every single thing in the world has a shape or combination of shapes and to understand this I give you a homework your homework is to grab like different objects like this you know leaf or uh, I don't know something and start from something easy and not complicated and try to break down the shapes for yourself and understand it okay now you do that look around you and something as don't give yourself more than 10 seconds for each uh, individual thing you want to break down the shapes and when you do that instead that you know your object is more complicated but try to do this as fast as you can and understand it and do this over and over and over with everything you see around you and uh, okay I think I'm uh, I t taught you a lot of good stuff today now in the next lesson I'm gonna teach you uh, how to get put volume and depth on your drawing or painting and we are gonna uh, learn about um, primary and secondary colors well to that time you better f have fun with this practice and practice and don't forget in this matter more always better than less all right good luck have fun bye bye